Okay, so we want to talk about Avocet too. So the, the, the main, main things that are really different compared to Avocet 1 is, first of all, like last January, we went to Remote 2, which added some functionality that wasn't in the original one, and it allows you to select between AES, SPDIF, or optical inputs on the remote itself. But the main thing that happened with Avocet 2 was a change in the D to A converter. And it's a new a AKM D to A chip and a reference oscillator for sample rate converter for jitter reduction that's taken two years to develop and basically lots of pain and trials to get there. And if you measure it, jitter with this oscillator from 1 hertz to 100 kilohertz, they're coming in in the 0.5 picosecond range. But if you do it with AES spec 10 hertz to 20k, it's like 0 0.04 picoseconds. Just crazy low numbers with it. This is the stuff like you see in spacecraft and test instruments and that kind of thing. And the low frequency part of that contributes to the jitter actually has audible effects. And, and the, the result with this new converter, it, with the lower jitter and the, and the redesigned filters in it, the transients are a lot more solid. It images a lot better. You know, you know like what they call like phantom imaging, like if you put a vocal in the center stereo, you know, and you listen to it, and it's actually, you hear it in the center of your head. It's not moving around or anything. It's really a lot more solid. It's actually quite a major change in how the converter sounds. And, you know, I'm publishing the jitter specs on this with the measurement. Uh, no one else has that I know of. Nobody else. I think Avid published some jitter specs on their interface, but for the most part, the other companies are just saying it's so low there's none. Well, there's really not such thing as none. There is always so. It gets to be a mystery.